Okay, in this video, we want to introduce the image glass, how to work with it, and user interface. Double click on this image glass. This is default photo of that. Here you can turn the thumbnail off or on. In this lesson, we uh, introduce uh, overall user interface of the software. And in the next lesson, we go in depth in sitting or tools. Here are prepare, close that here, I prepare a folder that there are several images in it. PNG, GIF, and JPEG. When you double click on uh, any photo in the windows, the uh, default window image viewer will be open the images for you. This is good software and has a lot, lots of editing tools, but I prefer image glass. It has more features that you can use it. First, you need to right click on any image in the right click going to the open width. The open width uh, choose an app. Here is a default app for opening images. You have to choose image glass here and tick the always use the app to open JPEG file or any other file that you choose. Click OK. And from now on, the images will open by default in image viewer. In uh, image glass or for setting PNG you can right click again open with choosing app instead of that using image glass spider for PNG okay I, you can set it uh, in a software but I prefer in this way a gif for example this gif this gif you can do the that's okay this is always gif and okay okay that's it the interesting part is that you can simply click and drag the entire folder and release on the software and you can see you can first you have to turn the thumbnail panel on as you can see you can see all these images here and you can click and show it here for you Simply you can scroll the mouse to zoom in and zoom out and with a left click you can pan the image. And here in this arrow you can go in next images. I, ex I explain these tools very briefly and the next lesson we go in depth all of them. You can simply rotate your images here. Very simple. You can flip horizontal or flip vertical and other tools that I will teach you in the next lessons don't worry so you learn how to turn the um, thumbnail on or off and I show what I want to show you one sitting here as you can see I have a child folder in this folder I why the software does not show them because I close it because in its settings here in its settings going to the image I will explain all of this one by one you tick this find the images in a child folder and apply and save it as you can see all the you can uh, sc scroll in the thumbnail and find the images as you can see all the JPEG and PNG images are displayed here for you and the image and gift and this gift this. as you can see it recognized the child folder okay that's it very easy and you can use it the next lesson i will explain more sitting and more feature interesting feature of this software for you Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos 
that we release. 